trees are the memories of people on the landscape. This is a cedar from Devil's Lake on the bluffs. And this one goes back to the 1100s. My name is Evan Larson. I'm a professor of geography at UW Platteville. So, Chris Underwood, uh, I'm an associate professor of geography, um, also department chair of geography. I'm interested in uh, biogeographic um, issues, um, also things like fire history, fire ecology, uh, global environmental Usually change. what we're doing is using increment bores, which is basically, it's a tool that was designed by a German forester back in the 1800s. So it's a hollow drill bit. It's got a sharp cutting edge here and threads and you set it into this handle like this and you turn it into the tree and so these threads are kind of pulling it along um, it's cutting basically a dowel sized piece of wood these are core samples from oaks um, this project this site was over on the mississippi these are some of the toughest most tenacious and, and conservative trees that grow in wisconsin you had some sort of a disturbance here, so you get a handful of narrow rings and you know that could be something happening around the tree, it could be um, drought. In this case that is the mid 1800s and so there was a, there's a period of pretty dry conditions there. If you look around the world, the Little Ice Age is not a single thing and it's not all at the same time. Different places had different climate during that time. There's some places that were really warm during the Little Ice Age. And so what these cedars are going to be able to hopefully enable us to do is actually start looking at like okay well what was happening right here in Wisconsin well, it's just like it's such a tangible perspective on history